Greetings all, Frog here. It's time for the Friday update from the pond for the 10th of June, 2016. Welcome, everybody. A couple of minor things for the agenda. We'll go over the normal, uh, what we've done, what we're going to do, and all that business here on a lovely Friday in June. And GeoGuessr, as you can see, I, I'm pretty much done. The only thing I've left to do are the two Isaac dailies, which obviously I can't do yet because they're not out. And then two Solaris videos. I just got a little bit too tired. Um, I tried to recharge my batteries a little bit by hanging out with some friends today and decided that uh, Stellaris could wait because I'll just record it on Friday. There's no Columbus Area Board Gaming Society this week because next week is the Origin Games Fair, so there's no meeting, which means I have a little bit more time, although I am probably going to go home and visit my folks on Sunday because we're doing like this big extended family zoo trip thing. So I think I'm going to do that, maybe try and see some of my Michigan friends on Saturday and just kind of make a two-day thing, leave sometime Saturday um, early afternoon, come back Sunday evening, um, that sort of thing. I don't know, because, you know, I'd like to see my wife, too. C crazy how that is, isn't it? Uh, we're, of course, listening to the music of Stellaris, and also EU4 and CK2 are on this playlist, so we could get any of those. Paradox Games, go check them out. ParadoxPlaza.com, of course, and I'm not sponsored by them in any way, although if they're interested... Drinking plain old water today. Ugh. We'll make do. So, uh, we've recorded pretty well, I think. Um, you know, it'll be done. Plus, my boss is giving me a half day tomorrow before my um, vacation. I'm taking a vacation next week, and I'll talk about that in a minute. So, I'll put in time to record. There's there's no worries about that. Uh, so, GeoGuessr is all the way through, as we'd expect. Uh, Prison Architects City Skylines, that's all good. Factorial has, has been a lot of fun. Stellaris um, is mixed. Uh, and, and the Binding of Isaac Daily is the Binding of Isaac Daily. We did have a live stream on Tuesday. It was all GeoGuessr. All GeoGuessr all the time. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Heaven, Heavenly Pizza Guy? Heaven Pizza Guy? I don't know. But anyway, Pizza was there. Naya was there. Um, Lanson was there. A bunch of people were, were there. We were hanging out. It was a lot of fun. So thanks for coming out on Tuesday. The live stream uh, VOD will be up later today. All right. Let's talk next week next week here's what it looks like right now but i'm going to play around with this live on air quote unquote even though it's taped live on syndication um first off as you can see the origins game fair is next week starts on wednesday goes through sunday and i will be there every day if you are going to be in columbus ohio for some reason going to the origins game fair and you want to meet the the grand old frog well let me know and we'll arrange some time maybe we'll have a, a pint at, at barley's or something and we can uh, just hang out, shoot the breeze, and, and do what have you. I will be wearing my uh, Purple Frog gear for most of the time. Um, because I have... I, Purple Frog, I don't know if I ever pointed this out, but it used to be a company of mine. So I've got plenty of stuff with this logo on it. And um, a lot of polos, so I'll probably wear the polos. But I'm also thinking that I'm, um, I have a goatee. And I'm thinking of shaving it off. So I think that in the interim, I'm going to have a mustache. And I'm going to do a little cosplay as... Uh, Tom Selleck's character from Hawaii Five O, from you know way back in the day, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But if I do that, then I'll be in a Hawaiian shirt with a, a really horrible mustache, and then you must ask me a question, and it'll be fine. But I'm going to be at Origins, so I'm going to try and do a lot of recording Friday on the half day that I'm working. I'm going to try and do a lot of recording on Saturday before I leave Sunday when I come back, and then Monday and Tuesday I've taken off of work. I decided, you know what? I haven't had a week since January, so I'm going to take a full week off work, and I'm going to record a little bit. I might do a, a special live stream. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see how that, that all goes, but I am uh, then going to spend the rest of the week at Origins, although I'm not going to be there the whole time, so I will still record the dailies and I'll still do some other stuff. Let's talk about the dailies first. We'll start with the dailies. And um, this may come as no surprise to anybody, but The Binding of Isaac is the least watched series on my channel by far. And I think that now I haven't been done this for a year, People just, they only want to see you if you're good. They don't listen for the commentary. They don't enjoy that necessarily. Like, it's there. So if you're one of the people that enjoy the commentary, please keep coming back for the commentary. Like, don't think I don't appreciate that as well, because I do appreciate that. But a lot of people want to see really good play. And, and Isaac, I'm just not that good. And in terms of the rest of the videos, just the, the volume isn't there. It's like a tenth of the other videos that we get from in terms of views. In terms of watch time, I don't know um, because it is very hard to use the analytics and watch time. I'm really tempted to try and download all the data because I think it can export. 
And if it if it I can export, then I'll have a lot more fun um, doing all of these different spreadsheets and stuff because that's my job. Like my nine to five real life day job is analytics, so I get a I get a kick out of it. Like I'm not doing it just because I'm doing it because I enjoy it. So maybe I will um, throw them into a spreadsheet if I can export it and get some real hard look at the data and, and create some analyzers and whatever. But what I can tell you is that this video guaranteed will have more views than any of my Isaac videos forever and also Stellaris actually so we'll talk about Stellaris in a minute but I don't think the for the record format of the Binding of Isaac dailies works um, people are watching it so it's not like they have zero views they always have at least a few views and it's not me because I don't watch my own videos um, I lived them so it's something you know someone else is is doing it is watching it so somebody is enjoying it but I don't I don't know. And then the two Isaac videos that I play don't get a lot of views either. So maybe I should just give up on Isaac on this channel. I don't know. Like, I like playing it. I'm going to keep playing the Isaac daily. So it's like, that's not going to change. Um, no matter how frustrating it may get from one day to another, because there's always a great day. I mean, I'm a little crazy about it. So I keep all my spreadsheets, by the way, spoiler right down there. So like, I keep track of where I've been and everything. And I've, I've actually got a whole nother spreadsheet that just tracks my um, greed butt standings just to just because it's I think it's kind of cool to see where you are in the the daily realm but you know apparently the Isaac dailies are being are being played as it were they're tired in the in the parlance so maybe it's not worth uploading every day I don't know because I'm gonna keep playing it and I figured if I played it why not upload the video but you know saying five videos a day every day maybe it's just a stat and people aren't gonna care um, whether I do it or not and obviously not because nobody's watching it so I don't know if Isaac's like the type of thing that people have to watch and be like oh okay cool or if you just have to be really really good for people to care about Isaac anymore because the game's three years old I don't know boy playing water is so bad so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the daily I've played around with actually recording um uh like um commentary I've thought about doing commentary again on the dailies to make them true let's plays instead of just this for the record series but then to do that then I'm adding processing time because I'd have to actually process the videos together as it is I can just upload the raw video and it's done I don't have to do anything to it so I'm kind of torn on, on what to do with the the Isaac dailies and then Isaac itself I mean maybe I just need to take Isaac off the channel let me know I mean uh, chances are good the people that actually watch this Friday update and comment aren't going to comment about the Binding of Isaac anyway. So it, it won't really matter, but it's one thing that I'm kind of considering. We might as well go from the bottom to the top. So the live stream will still be on Tuesday at 8 o'clock. I guarantee I'll be there on time because I had the day off. Uh, I might start actually a little bit early, do a little longer stream. Um, I'll keep you posted. It kind of depends on what my wife's schedule is like because I, I am committed to spending time with her this week as well. But there will definitely be a live stream on Tuesday, at least starting by 8 o'clock p.m. Be on the lookout. Um, it'll be GeoGuessr and probably not Stellaris because people aren't all up in Stellaris right now. It's kind of weird. Uh, it will definitely be GeoGuessr though and then we'll, we'll figure something else out. I have been considering playing um, a couple of games that I've had in my queue for a while. Um, <clears throat> one of them is called Emily is Away and the other is Carpe Diem. They are probably not YouTube video things. I mean, they are free to play, so I mean, maybe they're not going to care if I put it on YouTube. I have, I have to check it. But I'm thinking about maybe just streaming them, either as part of the Tuesday live stream or doing a special stream for RPG type games. Um, although Emily is Away is kind of more like an adventure game. But things like that, that, that are more story based. Because let's be honest. Prison Architect, Factorio, Stellaris, GeoGuessr, Binding of Isaac, they don't really have a story. Yes, there's a story element to the games, but it's not like that's what we're, we're focusing on, you know what I mean? So I'm not sure if that is something that people will be interested in. I'm interested in the games, playing a little more story-oriented stuff, but I, I wonder if it's more of a live stream thing than it would be a, um, a YouTube video thing. I don't know, let me know your thoughts on, on that one. Um, I've considered Undertale as well, because it, it gets such good reviews. Um, it does cost. Emily is Away and Carpe Diem are both free to play, but I don't... My concern about Undertale is a couple of things. One, I think it's another one of those things that if you suck at it, people aren't going to want to watch it. And obviously, I've never played it, so I'm going to suck at it. And two, um, 
I'm a little concerned about the fact that it has an epileptic warning uh, for two reasons. One, because I don't want to drive my viewers insane, but also two, because um, I get migraines pretty bad and they're light activated. This seems louder today than usual. Oh, you know what? No, it's not louder for you. It's just louder for me. I forgot I turned up my headphones for something else. Let me turn these back down. All right, now I don't feel like I'm shouting quite so much. Um, so I, I think I want, I want, no, I know I want to do this, but I don't know the format. So let me know if you'd rather watch that type of stuff on stream, or if you'd rather watch that type of stuff in a YouTube video. And I'll look to make sure, of course, the broadcasting rights and everything, because I don't want to get content ID uh, or tagged for anything like that. I, I'm, but I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to do that. And this week would be a good time to test it because I'm at Origins, so I've got a floating schedule. I can pretty much do whatever the hell I want. So it's tempting. Um, Stellaris. Stellaris' numbers are lower than these videos also. These videos being the Friday updates. It started out strong and then it petered out. And I think, honestly, it's because the mid-game in Stellaris is crap. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a break. So it says Stellaris all seven days. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new... Um, other Paradox campaign. No, it's not going to be Hoey 4, because one, I'm garbage at Hoey, uh, and and two, I just, I don't think I, I want to drop 50 bucks on a game right now. Uh, not so quick on the heels of Stellaris. And I kind of still want to play Stellaris, but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the Asimov patch. I'm going to wait for 1.2, because that's where all of the content for the mid-game is coming in. And now Wiz is the lead developer on Stellaris, so hopefully that will kind of drive the story element more and drive those events that are supposed to make the mid-game more fun. Because right now the mid-game is kind of flat. I'm enjoying it, it's interesting. Like, I'm gonna finish recording this week, so there'll be at least two more. But then I'm gonna cut back. I'm not gonna do seven videos of Stellaris a week. It may only be two. And then I'll mix in something else. I'm kind of hesitant about EU4 because the 1.18 patch is just around the corner. So I don't really want to start an EU4 campaign. And now there's a rumored patch for CK2. So it kind of maybe I leave OE4 or I bring City Skylines into the, it back into the Paradox Hour and I just put something else up in that slot for twice a week. You know, maybe I play um, another Factorio because Factorio is still the number one video on my channel. Factorio is the number one popular game, which probably is partially because it's just a great game and two because i really like it and because i really like it i have a lot of fun playing it and i think that i'm i'm decently good at it and people are interested in playing that or watching that so i think that you know it's certainly natural to move city skylines into the paradox hour and then that frees up two time slots in the potpourri hour if i cut isaac down to say once a week then that opens three so what i could do is have three days a week of a new factorial series or move narrow factorial into the potpourri hour and start a brand new factorial series at the beginning of the week um for seven days a week that i'm going to think about a little bit more but those are the options that i'm kind of thinking about so all of this stuff could drastically change. Um, I'm going to still do the Isaac every day, daily every day. Uh, whether I let's play it or just do it for the record, I don't know, but that will be there. The stream will be here. Paradox Hour is still going to be at this time, but I'm going to cut back on Stellaris. Like, I can already tell you I'm going to cut back. At, at, at very minimum, I'm only going to do, f uh, at very maximum, I'm going to do four. So let's copy that over to there. Let's copy that over to there, and let's copy that over to there, and then delete that and that. So this is more likely, and probably what I'm going to do is do this. Do this and this and make that like that and then get rid of this and this. I think for, at, at a minimum, I'm going to do this to kind of mix it in. So if you were looking for City Skylines at 10 a.m., it's moving into to the 6 p.m. slot and, you know, we'll go from there and you're going to get a bonus one because that's that's how I, I plan to do it because I think, that, you know, it's it's one, it's good to mix things up just to have variety and then two, because Stellaris' numbers are just dropping off. I probably should do four City Skylines and three Stellaris based on the relative view numbers, but I'm going to leave it like that for now. I think I'm going to keep Prison Architect at two and I think I'm going to keep Afterbirth at two as well because I just, I like playing Afterbirth. I know from a channel perspective I should probably drop it but I am having fun playing it right now. There are other things I've considered playing, so if I look at the installed stuff, what else am I considering? Um, I still enjoy Kingdom, so I may come back and play that a little bit. I'd love to play Don't Starve. 
Um, and I'd like to get back into Kerbal Space Program, honestly. I was having a lot of fun doing Kerbal Space Program. I wonder if the numbers were on that one. I didn't look at... I only looked at, like, the last two months of, of records, and I haven't played it in over two months, so it's not in there. But I'd love to start playing stuff like that. I wouldn't mind playing some Game Dev Tycoon, but that, again, that might be a streaming game versus a, a YouTube type of game. Um, I'd like to get a bunch of my friends together to play tabletop games. If I could do that, that would be the ultimate. To play a tabletop simulator, play a bunch of board games... And then that's the fifth video. So cut out the Binding of Isaac dailies and just play board games at noon and go back to the 6, 9, noon, 3, 6 time format and be done with it. Which is ideal, but I can't find the people to commit to that level of, of time. And frankly, it is a big commitment. I mean, you know, it's it's not easy. Uh, maybe I'll put out another feeler to, to Arumba and, and Quill and Stijo and all of them and, and, and see if they would be interested in playing with a nobody just to, to play some board games. I mean, Stijo might be more into it. Stijo and Elysium and, and, and that set. But I don't know. We'll see. If, if you're one of them and you're listening, hi. And then let's play some games. But I'm going to do this for sure. So again, this will be this will be some sort of... Uh, I'll tell you right now, it's going to be a Factorio game. I think I'm going to start Factorio. Um, Die Tech, maybe. Because I've done Bob's Mods twice now. Three times, actually, I think. So it's... Um, no, it's just twice. But it, it might be good just to do a different set. Because I, I know all the recipes for Bob's Mods. Or maybe that's it. Maybe that's what you want to see is Bob's Mods. The thing I'd considered is doing Bob's Mods with RSO... And then creating, like, a towns system. So, um, Mangled Pork did this, or Bentham. Uh, he created, each town could do one thing. And that was it. So you would train in all of the, the materials that they would need, and the town would produce one thing that got trained out. And I, that's interesting to me, and it's, it's something I have considered that maybe uh, would be good. And to do it with Bob's mods would be ridiculous, which is kind of why I want to do it. And then you have to do it with RSO because they have to be spaced out or there's no reason to have trains. And obviously we want to do trains. So maybe maybe that's what I'm going to do is like a Towns episode, like British Towns that, that are there. Um, I'm not going to name them, though, like Bentham did. I'm, I'm not going to take that shtick. But uh, it would certainly be possible with Factorio and Bob's Mods because I know Bob's Mods so well and I'm pretty good at, at all the formulas that they would require. But it's going to require... To do it in town style, it's, it's a lot. I've considered efficiency because I liked efficiency factorial. I've considered doing a speed factorial again. I don't know. Um, let me know. What what do you want to see me play? Maybe it's some other type of game. Uh, you know, somebody did a drive-by in the comments in another video the other day uh, asking about different videos or different games that I might try playing. And I'm, I'm open to everything. It's just a matter of uh, do I have the funds for it and, and do I have the time to play it. So... Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. So you guys, of course, isn't going to change. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday will be user-submitted challenges, assuming we get enough. I haven't checked my messages today. It's Thursday as I'm recording this. So if you sent something in recently and I haven't put it on, that's that's one thing. I feel like I only have a few for this week. Um, yeah, I only have the two. So if you've sent one in, um, you know, I, I haven't gotten to it yet. If you haven't, now's the time, man. Schedule's wide open for you. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday will be user-submitted challenges. And if they're not, then we'll fill them in with something else. Tuesday, we'll continue to do the state lands. Saturday will be Eurovista, which reminds me I need to post Eurovista number five on subreddit right now. So I'll go do that before I go to bed. And then um, Thursday's episode will maybe be another one of l uh, challenges. I'm not sure which one, whether the, the daily community challenge or one of the Russian challenges. I'm not sure. But we'll probably do an, an L-Chan on Thursday. Just because it was interesting and I enjoyed it, and so we'll do it again. I'm loving the subreddit uh, GeoGuessr community over there, so I, I want to become more involved and do more stuff because it's it's fun and I enjoy it. That's really all I have for this week. A nice little 20 minute typical update video length for me. Please let me know the comments in. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and we'll go from there. Be on the lookout on Twitter and Facebook for a possible uh, gorilla stream. Uh, out of the ordinary, and if nothing else, we'll see you on Tuesday for the 8 o'clock live, uh, live stream. That's Eastern time, of course, all times are Eastern, which is UTC minus 4. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated to everything that happens. Until next time, cheers.